Hey guys, I'm Shara from Woodshop Diaries and I'm excited to be working with Craig Tool here on their YouTube channel to share with you how to build this dresser. Dressers are my absolute favorite thing to build, so I'm really excited to take you along with me on this project. But before we dive in, I do wanna let you know that the free building plans, including the cut list, the dimensions, and the materials list can be found on craigtool.com and linked in the description below. And if free project plans are your thing, be sure to subscribe right here to Craig's YouTube channel so you don't miss out on all future projects, building tips, and more. All right, now let's dive into this build. The full materials list can be found in the plans, but the main pieces include a sheet and a half of three quarter inch plywood, a sheet of quarter inch plywood, a few two by twos, four furniture legs, and some trim to dress it up a little. Now a note about the two by twos. You can purchase pre-cut two by twos to use here, but if you have a table saw available, you can also make your own from two by fours. To do this, simply rip the rounded edge off of your 2x4, then adjust the rip fence to 1.5 inches from the blade and cut your first 2x2, two two, then repeat it to cut your second. You can find the cut diagram in the plans linked below, but I used a circular saw and a Craig rip cut to cut down my plywood sheets into strips. One strip will be the top and the sides, another will be the drawer fronts, and the rest will become the drawer boxes. I labeled each piece as I cut it and set them aside. After the plywood was broken down, I placed the strip for the top and the sides back on the workbench and used my Craig AccuCut to cut off the dresser top. The sides will be a little narrower than the top panel, so after the top was removed, I used the rip cut again to rip the remaining piece to the correct width and cut this into two side panels on the miter saw. Then I trimmed the 2x2s two two to length to assemble the two sides and the dresser frame. Before assembling anything, I sanded each piece. It's way easier to sand beforehand, so you don't have to worry about getting into all the little corners once it's all assembled. To build the dresser, I used pocket holes and screws. So I pulled out my Craig 720 pocket hole jig and set my drill depth for one and a half inches to drill pocket holes into these shorter two by twos. Now, technically you're supposed to drill at least two pocket holes into each end, but with two by twos, I found from personal experience that they tend to split pretty easy when driving two screws into such a small piece. So I like to use one screw along with some wood glue when working with two by twos. Then I swapped to a drill depth of 3 quarter inch to drill pocket holes around the edges of the plywood side panels. Now it's time to assemble. I used wood glue in 2.5 inch pocket hole screws with the 2x2s and 1.25 inch pocket hole screws with the plywood panels. Use a face clamp to keep the 2x2s flush while driving the screw. And remember to wipe away any excess glue before it dries. I used a pipe clamp to clamp the plywood panel square to drive the first couple of screws, but if you don't have a pipe clamp, you could also use a ratchet strap or a bar clamp. I assembled two identical sides like this, keeping the plywood panel flush to the inside of the 2x2s. After the two sides were together, I used four more 2x2s to assemble the dresser frame. These pieces go on each corner between the two sides and attach with wood glue and pocket holes and screws. After cutting down the plywood sheet, there were some leftover plywood strips that I had set aside. I cut three pieces to fit between the side panels to use as the drawer dividers from these strips. Two of the three will be exposed on the front, so I applied iron on edge banding to cover the plywood edges. Edge banding is totally optional, but it does make plywood look a little cleaner and stains really nicely, so I like to use it where the edges will show. I drilled pocket holes into the ends of all three pieces and screwed them into the dresser frame to divide the drawers. All the dimensions can be found in the plans linked below. Two of these strips will go at the front, 
and one will attach at the back, even with the top divider on the front. This design calls for two smaller drawers at the top and two larger drawers at the bottom. So I cut and installed another scrap plywood piece in the middle between the top frame and the top drawer dividers. Notice that I applied edge banding on the front edge here since it will be exposed. I used two inch wood screws to secure this divider in place, making sure to keep it centered. Now it's time to add the drawer slides. So I'm installing 16 inch ball bearing drawer slides and these are soft close. You can see the soft close mechanism back here in the back. Now normally for smaller projects like this, I like to install the drawer slides where the project is on its side. However, if you're working with something really big or it's just not easy to flip over on its side or it's already screwed into the wall, Craig does make this drawer slide jig. This works great on pieces that you need to install the slide where it's vertical. So you clamp these in place and you can set the slide on top of it so that this will hold your slide in place while you screw it in. I installed four pair of 16 inch ball bearing drawer slides using 5 8 inch wood screws into the dresser. Two at the bottom and two at the top. The bottom two are installed one inch inset from the front edge and the top are installed three quarter inch inset. With the slides in place, it's time to start building the drawer boxes. I cut down the 3 quarter inch plywood strips to be used for the drawer boxes to their correct lengths and cut dados to install the quarter inch drawer bottom. I adjusted the blade height in the saw to about a quarter of an inch using my Craig Multimark tool and cut dados into the drawer box sides about a half inch from the bottom edge. Now, I cut these dados using a table saw, but you could also use a router, or if you don't have either, you don't have to cut dados at all. You could assemble the drawer boxes and simply glue and staple the quarter inch plywood bottom on instead. Now, I'm not actually using a dado blade here, so I made one cut, then adjusted the rip fence a little, made another cut, and repeated until my cut was a total of a quarter inch wide. Note that the bottom two drawers are taller than the top two drawers, so I did the bottoms first, then adjusted and repeated this process to cut the tops. I cut quarter inch plywood drawer bottoms to fit the dados in each drawer, then before assembling I applied iron on edge banding to the tops. Again, edge banding is totally optional. Then I drilled pocket holes into the front and back drawer box pieces to assemble. I assembled the drawer boxes using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws and slid the bottom panel in place before attaching the fourth side. To install these drawers, I pulled out the slides and used some quarter inch scrap plywood spacer blocks to keep them spaced a quarter inch off the boards underneath. I pulled the slides flush to the front edge of the boxes and added two screws on each side, then used the little tabs on the slides to remove the drawer and add a third screw at the back on each side. Then I installed it back into the dresser and repeated for all four drawer boxes. Next up was the drawer fronts. I cut four drawer fronts from three quarter inch plywood, a quarter inch smaller in each direction than the openings in the dresser. I applied iron on edge banding to each piece, which again <laughs> is optional. And for some added detail, I cut quarter inch lattice trim pieces to glue around the front edges of the two larger drawer fronts. While that dried, I installed the two top drawer fronts. And since these were small and not very heavy, I just eyeballed the gaps on all sides on the front until they looked even, then held it in place while I used some one and a quarter inch screws through the front of the drawer box to secure it. The bottom drawer fronts were a little heavier and harder to hold in place with just one hand. So for these, after the glue dried on the trim, I removed the top two drawers, flipped it on its back, and centered the fronts on the drawer box. From the inside, I slowly lifted the drawer up and placed a scrap block underneath it, being careful not to move the drawer front. Then I could access the inside of the drawer and use a couple of screws to secure the front in position. Before putting all the drawers back in, I went ahead and installed the top. I 
cut the top panel to size toward the beginning of this video, but I went ahead and edge banded and sanded it smooth before attaching here. I left about an inch overhang on the sides and front and used two inch wood screws through the top two by twos to attach it. Be sure to pre-drill here so as not to risk splitting the two by twos. So I wanna add these feet at the bottom of this dresser, but in order for these to not stick out past the corners here, I'm gonna end up having to put this um, bolt here right into the corner and that's just not gonna hold. It's gonna split open and there's not gonna be enough wood there for this to grab. So what I'm gonna do is to put some scrap pieces of plywood around here on the edge of the frame and then I can screw the legs into that. I used some more of the leftover scrap plywood to cut two pieces to go on each side of the bottom of the dresser to screw the feet into. I glued and screwed these into the bottom frame, then added a piece to fit across the front in between them. The piece on the front isn't really that important, it's just there to be able to attach the trim pieces around the bottom later. So I'm going to install these little inserts here to screw the little feet into. Now in order to install these, I need to drill a hole to screw them into. So I'm going to get a drill bit that is about the same size as the shank of this insert or slightly smaller. And I'm going to drill out these holes and then use this big screwdriver here to screw these in. I drilled holes to install the inserts at each corner about one and a half inches in from each edge. And depending on the size and style of your feet, you may need to adjust where you drill your hole so that your feet don't stick out from the edges of the dresser frame. Full disclosure here, I would not buy these inserts again. I recommend looking for some that you can install using an Allen wrench and not a screwdriver. These brass inserts were easy to break using a flathead and really difficult to screw in. They make them with a hex head and I would recommend finding those to use for this application. Nonetheless, after these inserts were installed, I screwed the feet into them until they were flush to the plywood and flipped it right side up. To give the dresser a little detail, I added some simple chair rail molding around the top and the bottom. I just held these pieces up, marked, and cut to fit. I mitered the corners 45 degrees, then glued and nailed them in place. After it was installed, I puttied over all the nail holes and at these corners. To finish off the build, I cut and stapled a back panel onto the back side of the dresser. After the back was on, I thought I was finished, but the more I looked at this dresser, the more I thought it needed one more thing. <laughs> okay, so confession time. I removed the top two drawers here because I'm gonna add some trim on them. I just wasn't really happy with the just plain flat drawer fronts. So I had some scrap half round molding in the shop. So I'm going to cut this just to make a design on the front, just so that these aren't totally plain. I think it'll look better proportionally. I cut some half round pieces with miters 45 degrees and I used some quick dry wood glue to glue these pieces onto the front, keeping the rectangle centered side to side and up and down. And after the glue was dry, I gave the piece a final sanding and began finishing. This dresser would look really nice painted, but I opted to stain it early American. I removed the doors for this to make it easier to get inside of the dresser. And after the stain was dry, I applied three coats of clear water-based poly using a brush. The final part was adding the drawer pulls, and for this, I opted for black leather pulls, but any knob or pull would be fine to suit your own style. I used my Craig cabinet hardware jig to install these leather pulls to the drawers. And now the dresser is ready for use. I hope you enjoyed watching this build process as much as I enjoyed sharing it, and don't forget that if you want the free printable building plans to build your own, they're linked below and on craigtool.com. Let us know what you think about this project in the comments and be sure to follow along so you don't miss out on any future building projects and tips right here on the Craig Tool YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching friends. Now it's time to get building.